Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at a 30 foot Winnebago adventure that gives you three slide outs. This is the 2021 Winnebago Adventure Model 30T. We are gonna give, take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features then. We're gonna give you three things we love about the adventure and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. It's the world's only channel giving you the true unbiased review about everything when it comes to RVs. And again, today I am super excited to take a look at this very unique, but very great and practical floor plan from Winnebago, the Adventure 30T. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Andrea. Hey, Andrea. Hey, everybody. How's it going? It's going good. It's it's nice and warm down here in Florida, and we're getting ready to head up north in a few days. So I'm not looking forward to the cold, but I want to give a shout out to Nicole and JF. They have just bought this beautiful Winnebago adventure. Congratulations to you guys. Yep. Happy camping. Happy camping. I hope you guys have made plenty of memories in this. Let's begin. Model is 30T. The actual tip to tip length of this motorhome is 31 feet, one inch. This is the Winnebago Adventure. It is their upper echelon motorhome, but because this is the smaller version, it still gives you the 19.5 tires, not the 22.5s. When you get to the bigger ones on the bigger frames, that's when you can get the bigger tires. Up front, because it's a Winnebago, you do have this steel cage construction up front. It's uh, iconic to Winnebago. And I love what they do with the grill right there. I think it looks awesome, nice, and everything. Coming down the side, we do have chrome mirrors, left side, right side, with cameras on your left side, right side, below the mirror. Right here, we do have this nice doggy window right here. This does have the new Ford 7.3 liter V8. It is the Godzilla engine. 350 horsepower, 468 foot pounds of torque and then right here as you can see it does have the 19.5 tires they're the Goodyear tires Andrea 245-70 R 19.5 coming down the side here oh uh, we do have a slide out right here which makes it a very unique floor plane and a nice power awning with LED lights let's take a look at that when it's all the way out yeah it's very interesting because the doors right there yeah Nice power awning with LED lights, and I love the pattern underneath the awning. Right here, we do have a little bit of storage. As Andrea pointed out, it is very unique with the uh, door being right there. I like it though. More storage. And then Andrea, do you know what that pet pal is? Yes. That is, is that? a place to put your furry friend so they don't try to escape, like Le our puppy. Leash him up, yep. Now, because this is a Winnebago, they do use the Asdell sidewall composite, which is a green base material that will never delaminate on you. And then right here oh. is a propane quick connect in case you want to have a grill. Interesting. All right, coming down the side. Good job on that with the, uh, what's that, for the furnace? Yep, no, for the refrigerator. Refrigerator, that's good. How they good. continue to paint there. Right here, this is where you fill up your potable water fill. Potable. 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 And then right here, you can see there's a little bit more storage there. And right here, it's oh. just a little bit more storage and it is packed. Wow. Really good storage on a smaller Class A gas motorhome. Around the back, no bumper for your stinky slinky. You do have a 5,000 pound hitch. This motorhome is rated to tow 5,000 pounds. You do have a backup camera. Also, you have a ladder to get up on the one piece fiberglass roof. Andrea. Let's go up there and take a look. Matt, I sure hope you did your stretches. Here we go now. Oh my goodness, hold on. Here we go. All right, up here on the roof, you can see it's a nice one piece fiberglass roof. We have not one, but two air conditioning units. I love that. Right there, you can see that it does have a solar panel on it and it is prepped for two more solar panels. Hold on. All right, one more step, Matt. Here we go now. And then you got the bumper. 
Very good. Great. And if you haven't already, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. One of the RV salesmen's gonna take his fat ass up on the roof. Show you what features the roof has to offer. Nobody. 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 <laughs> Nobody. You're the best. Right over here, we do have our Cummins Old Man 5500 generator. Interesting that the generator's there. Yeah. Oh, Back here. wow. A little bit more storage, because you can never have enough. Got all kinds of storage on it. Yes, ma'am. Right here's where you fill up your gasoline, okay? And then look at this wet bay. Nice, beautiful, clean wet bay. I love the way Winnebago does it. You got your water filtration system there, uh, tank flushes and everything. Looks pretty good. Very nice. Oops. Oh, snap. No, here's your black tank flush, and here's where you dump your black and gray tank. I like that. I like that. I like how it's separate. Look at the water heater. Wow. Yes. Again, continuing the paint with the water heater, that is a big deal for me. Other side of your storage. And then this is gonna be your propane. And Andrea, we'll have all the propane tank sizes, lengths, widths, specs, everything about this motorhome down in the description below. Also right here, bing, for everybody to watch on television. Awesome. Well, Andrea, the outside of this motorhome looks great, but it looks even better on the inside. Let's go take a look. I can't wait to see this. Cargo carrying capacity. 2,095 pounds. Wow, that's pretty good. Oh, look. Oh, wow. Oh, oh my man, gosh. The lights aren't even on. Oh my gosh. Wow, Matt, this looks great. Look at this. All right, as you can see, the slide is in, so I'm walking back to the bathroom. And I have plenty of room. The bathroom, and here's the bed, which is accessible with the slide in, and that is awesome. Wow, I really like the interior in here. Yes, it is very, very nice. All right, yeah. Now, Andrea, this is one of my favorite features. Dang on it. Emergency brake needs to be on. Well, Andrea, while the slide out's coming out, we have a huge favor to ask everyone. If you could, please, leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like about the Winnebago Adventure and three things you don't like about it. I can already tell coming in here that Winnebago has made a few changes based off our recommendations, which I love. And the more people who are commenting and giving us a thumbs up button, the more YouTube likes to promote our videos. And we thank you guys. Also, you guys, the more comments you leave, the manufacturers actually start to change things. So yeah, certainly. look at this. Look at the room with the slide out. Again, 31 wow. foot one inch tip to tip. I am impressed right yeah. now. Let's get started up here. So up here, Andrea, the new 7.3 liter V8. You have your steering wheel right here. This is the big indicator. Nice modern dash, everything. It tells you your trips, your miles, how many miles to empty. You got your auto leveling right here, cup holder, and everything. Hold on, hold on. I like to show the driver window. Okay. MCD privacy. I blinds. like this doghouse here. Yep, very nice. Got a pedestal. Cup hold, pedestal, pedestal table here. For, yes, ma'am. And these seats do swivel to become part of the living area. Uh huh. Very comfortable. It's one of my favorite features. Yes. Very nice. Nice table cup and holder, everything. Mm -hmm. Place down here for your pets to look out. Yep. Very nice. There, it is nice, Andrea. I, I like am it. really, really impressed right now. So. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Me too. So over here, we do have a bunk over the cab. It does hold. Oh, what's this bunk over the cab hold? Probably 350. I always forget. I think it's 500. Is really? It I think it is. It looks pretty small to hold All 500. Right, we'll and it has a safety netting. I like that. And look at the cubbies back there, everybody. 
Got yeah. cubbies and speakers. See, I, I like how nice and easy it goes up yes, and down. Yes, definitely. And, and you do have a ladder that goes with that bunk right there. Yep. Now, because it's Winnebago, you guys have seen in our other videos, they, they've been doing this DIY look, which I'm not a fan of in this price point. But here's what I will say. With the light cabinetry and the light furniture, I kind of like it. You know, it's very neutral. It looks good. You got your uh, privacy blinds there, MCD, and your daytime sheets. I love that. Very nice. This is a comfortable cushion, Andrea. It is a tri-fold sofa, so oh. it does come out to make a bed. We do have the cabinetry above. Very nice. Hidden hinge. Yes, ma'am. Hidden hinge cabinetry. Very nice. And why I like it is because oh. this is directly across from the dinette. Now, Matt, I'm really surprised that they gave you a standing dinette. Yeah, it's very unique. You don't normally yeah, see Yeah, you always see a boot. And then check this out. You have a nice window there when you want it. And then when you need your TV, you just push the button. Wow. The elevator comes up. And you know what? The chairs are actually really cute. And this does pull out. It does come with two more chairs. Yep. That um, is adorable. And I like it because, you know, you can sit plenty far back. You're not going to be all up on it and you everything. You do your work right there. Yep. And then we have a drawer there. Oh. And USBs right there, cabinetry. Yep. We've got a cabinet under here. I'm going to try to get open really quick. So you got a little bit of room and then you got this side as well. So I've got plenty of storage space. Yes, ma'am. Plenty. Very nice. Plenty. And yeah. then up here we have more cabinetry. Yep. Tons. And I love I love the colors. I just it looks very clean in here. It yes. feels very warm. And what is nice is right? Winnebago does make all their cabinets in house and mostly everything you see in here is made by Winnebago, which is nice. Well Andrea, it's now time for the MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. You ready for this? I'm ready. MSRP on this motorhome here is $181,336 MSRP. Sale price, we have it 25% off to $136,995. That is a phenomenal sale price. But Andrea. Yes. We can get everybody in America a better sell price than that. Absolutely. Why don't you tell everybody what to do? You can call, you can text, you can email, you can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962. Or Matt's RV Reviews at gmo.com. Or send me, uh, go to my website, mattsrvreviews.com, where you can get your official Matt's RV Review stickers. Bing! Also, there's a contact me page. Again, you contact me personally. I will get you in contact with one of my team members at General RV to get you the best price in America, everybody. <laughs> Andrea, let's continue the video. Also known as the Matt price. Yes. Hey, Matt, what is this? Uh, you know exactly what that is. No, yeah, is it's, it the, the, it's the satellite thing. Oh, the thing that comes down like this? Correct. All the, okay. All right, so let's start over here in the kitchen. Yes. So we got a convection microwave here. Three burner cooktop. Uh-huh. Propane with the cover. I like how they did the side splash here. Okay. Yep. Very nice. Um, we got a drawer here. Uh -huh. Very big drawer, actually. And I like this. They Ooh, did a good job very here. Nice Solid job. surface countertop. Nice cabinetry. That actually goes back, so that's where. Oh. See that? Oh, that's nice. pretty good. I like that they gave you a shelf here. Yes, I haven't seen outlet. that. This is very cute. Double sink. Nice. And we got a cabinet under here for your trash can. Okay. And is, that, is that something? That is a drawer. Oh, that is a drawer. And then if you don't have enough counter space, everybody, look. Nice. Now, isn't that smart? Yep. Oh, so it doesn't bump the fridge. Right. Look. I like that. I like that a lot. right here. And then let's see. These are all different. Oh gosh, it's always hard for me to figure these out, everybody. There we go. That you got bad. it. All right, we got three drawers over here, Matt. Oh Check this wow! Out. Look, they're using every angle. They are. Angle. I like that. Got an electrical outlet here, 
And then this doesn't bother me as much. I normally don't like wood covered yep. refrigerators, yep. but this is actually okay. So we got the two way refrigerator that goes off your propane and shore power. Very nice. And look, another, oh, that's not a drawer. Nope, it's a that's fuse your fuse box. But I like how they cover it up it very looks, easy it and It looks nice. very good. And here's your pantry. This is important right here. No, that is, look at that. See the yeah. Winnebago logo? Oh yeah, it? very cute. Very nice. Wow, I gotta say, I'm impressed right now. Yep, yep, <laughs> absolutely. All right. All right, and then coming down the aisle way, we do have a shower here. And as you can see, that door looks like it will swing Shring. to close up for the shower. Now, Winnebago does really, a, good job with their yeah. showers it's not the biggest not the smallest it's a good size good height good Definitely. everything I like it and so this doormat would swing back right yes. so we'll have you close that okay all right so here in the bathroom area we have our medicine cabinets right there another little bit wow. of storage wow have your sink and everything right here drawer Good amount of space in here. Very nice, very nice for a bathroom. Again, Good you gotta motor. remember, you gotta remember this is a 30 foot motor home. And I like that the fan's right there. It's now time for the toilet test. Porcelain. Of course. Um, it is a little bit elevated. It's not a, it's not a perfect prime pooping position, but it does pass. This is a prime pooping position. Bing! Yay! Um, Almost. They almost failed. Almost. They, hey, they, they, they were on that fine line. Okay. But got, a pass is a pass. Now, this is not, is this an accordion style door? Yeah. Oh, but it's fabric. I like that. Okay, so it's not that weird plastic kind of material. Yep. Here's the wardrobe. Very nice. Matt, you go too fast. Sorry. You want to see it again? Yes. Two drawers down there. Three. 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 Wow over here oh i like this area yep you got your tv a window got usbs coaxes there two drawers what's there more storage oh that's lots of storage isn't it yep great and then over here the other wardrobe oops yep pedestal table and then three drawers Yes, ma'am. Very nice. I like that there's the exit window here. And I, I do want to show this, Matt. This is actually pretty cute. Uh -huh. Two-tone color with the chair rail. Yes. Looks good. And it's, at least it's not just plain, you know. Very cute over here. I like the windows on both sides. Uh -huh. Cross ventilation. you got cabinetry up here. Very nice. Queen size bed. I even like the headboard. Yeah, headboard's cute. You know, I, I I think I didn't like the bedrooms the last time we did one of these, but I like it. It's the coloring in it's here. Really it's the really the coloring. It's the coloring. And I like that at least you get a little bit of a nightstand here. Yep. So electrical outlets on both sides with USBs. Yep. Oh, is there storage under the bed? I don't think so. Oh, oh I'm wrong. I'm there's wrong. your two there chairs. Is. Two extra chairs and wow. everything. Wow, and there's the ladder. For the bunk over the cab. Wow, Matt. Yeah, well, I gotta it's, say, it's nice. I'm pretty impressed. I think what did it is the white cabinetry and furniture, definitely, which definitely helped with the uh, DIY look. Definitely, and it's nice. But Andrea, as nice as it is and as pretty as it is, it's now time to give everybody three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. Andrea, what do we do it first? Uh, three things we dislike about it. Okay, you got some? I do. I'm going to combo mine. Do you have mine. all three? No, don't combo it because I, I, I don't okay. have any. I have two. So tell me, okay. what's number one? Number one for me, guys, this is a high-end it's, it's high motorhome, yep. right? For a Class A gas. Yep. Should not have the vents in the floors. Oh. That's my first dislike. Okay, so the reason why Andrea doesn't like the vents in the floor is it's because it's, it's a crumb catcher. And, and yep, because yep, of and, Yuna. And Yuna could get like her collar thing stuck in there. Yep. Okay. Okay. So that's one. No. Number two. My number two. There's not really a lot for me to pick, but my number two is is I don't like the color of the furniture. Really? I, I feel like for me, with everything being so light in here, you need some kind of color to contrast. Really? So I feel like maybe a gray, a gray sofa would have been better, light gray or dark gray, just to give it more color contrast. 
and because light's so fast, you can see everything in here. Look I don't believe it. <laughs> I mean, look at the chairs. You know what I mean? So I think that would have been better. That's my second dislike. I, I want to highly disagree. <laughs> I think because of the furniture and because of the cabinetry, I like the way it looks. Leave down in the comments below, y'all. We're doing it again. Yeah. Who's right? Is Andrea right and you'd like to see different color furniture? Or is Matt right and you like the way it looks right now? <laughs> RV review crew. They, they all know. Let us know. No, because uh, I, I, I'm not saying this just to... I really do really, like the white. Yeah. I'm not saying that I don't like it. I'm saying I don't like it in here. Perfect. Because of the cabinetry. Do you have a number three? Um, my number three, yes. Okay. Okay. My number three is... I don't like these type of doors. Uh, I feel like they're know. cheap, yep. they're flimsy, they, they break. Yep. Um, I think that they could have done a pocket door right here. They 100% could have, yes. they should have, and you would have had plenty of space exactly. even with that slide out. Exactly. 100% agree with that. Disagree with the color. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's three things we don't like about it. Now it's time for, oh, and I would like to add one more dislike. I hate these. Open it up because it, maybe... No, I don't even want to open it. It's just a pain in the butt. Uh, you know what? I, I you better open it. open it because maybe some viewers may not know what's in there. It's just a lot of times these will come down and you'll walk in and you'll hit your head. I only know that from working at the dealership lot. That's just one of the reasons why I don't like it. But as long as it stays up, it's not a problem. <laughs> Oh, show that. I know. Oh, look at the shade, you guys, over the window for yes. the door. I was just checking that out. Very nice. Great. So that's three things we don't like about it. Now it's time for three things we love about this moment. Yay! You I got ready? so many likes. Okay. My first like is this table. Oh, chair. yes, me too. Uh, it's just unique. It's different. You don't see it. Some people, like, when you sit to dine that, right, you're eating like this, right? Yeah. I can sit back like this. Absolutely. Can you can the work there too, Matt. It's an office. It's everything. I really, really, really like the table and chairs, and you don't see it very much no. in Class A gas motorhomes, let alone ones that are 30 feet long. Exactly. This is the perfect size motorhome for state for parks so and many, national for parks. For so many people, yep. That's one. Okay. I, I got to sing Winnebago some praises here. Talk to me. I love this floor plan. Oh, you stole my number Do you three. know why I love this floor plan? Talk to me. The door is here. Yep. Which gives you more living space. Yep. So with this being under 30 feet, having three slides, this is one of the best design motorhomes I've seen. Yes. I mean, 30 feet. The double, the yes. double, again, for it being so short length, the double, it's just really incredible. So much potential in here. Yep. Yep. For sure. So that's two. Do you have a number three? Because you, you stole my number three. So oh. I 100% agree with you. I, I honestly like the cabinetry in here. I like that they went with this change. You guys remember, if you've seen the past Winnebago's, they are that other, the wood color. Yeah. This is great. I don't know. Is this an option, Matt? I don't know if it's an option or a new standard. It's probably an option, but I like the option. Yeah, and I like the white. It just makes it look so bright here and clean, and I like that. And I said it earlier in the video, and I'll say it again. I don't like the DIY look. Um, I feel like it's cheap. Whereas with this combination with the cabinetry and the furniture. Yeah, I agree. I it agree looks with you fantastic. this time. Yeah. Yep. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Thank you everybody so much for watching. If you guys have any questions about this RV, please call me, text me, send me an email. It is Matt's RV Reviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962. That's my personal cell phone, or check me out online at mattsrvreviews.com where you can get your official Matt's RV Review sticker. Bing! Again, you contact me. I work for General RV. I will get you in contact with somebody from my team to get you... The best price in America, everyone! <laughs> also, in a few seconds, you're gonna see some videos right here of my personal recommendations if you really like a motorhome this size. Andrea, do you have anything you wanna say? You know I do. Hey everybody! Just one. There's just a, a nice motorhome that pulled in. Oh. We get all distracted. Yes, we get distracted all the time. Um, first, real quick, don't forget you guys to reach out to Matt so you guys can get the Matt price. Also, we have Matt Cash, which are vouchers that will be used towards your purchase. Um, you guys, this floor plan is great. I can't wait to see what you have to say. 
you, let us know three things you like about this RV and three things that you dislike. Winnebago will be reading the comments, so we appreciate everybody's feedback. I hope you guys are safe and you guys are well. Thanks for watching. Awesome. Thank you so much for watching. You should see my recommendations right here. Make sure you check out those videos. Leave a comment, smash that thumbs up button, and Andrea, we'll see you next time.